Hi guys, it's Belle here and I'm back from Marguerite Miller Monday and this week is week 41. As always, I will leave the links down below to Marguerite Miller's YouTube and Etsy shop as well as don't forget there is a playlist for both my 2022 completed Marguerite Miller and everything up until today's one um, as well if you want to check those out. And don't forget to push the hashtag in with the... Um, number of the week and you will be able to see on instagram and youtube what people are doing let's get started this is the size of the page that i'm using from this little book so glad look i mean i started this book was almost full and we're really working our way through it now this week's guys is going to be another memory keeping one so if you don't know or you haven't been here or this is your first time first of all welcome i hope you enjoy um but i like to mix collage up and if possible do memory keeping for collage for the marguerite miller it's not always possible sometimes it's just themes or something that comes to my head but this week's definitely memory keeping so first of all um a portion of a photo and this is the memory keeping my daughter is getting married in a couple of years but we've started dress shopping already and I didn't want to put one of her in a possible dress. Um, but this is one of the dresses she tried on, one of the trials. And also um, we were at a wedding fair and we took pictures of some of the dresses and there was like a fashion show and things. So that's one of the photos. Don't know which one I'm going to wear. And going with the wedding, the bridal, the dress theme. Something found underwater is one of the prompts. And these are pearls. They make me think of oysters, pearls found underwater. So that's what we're going with. A border or a frame. I have this sticker sheet by K and Company, I believe. This is so old. This is the Brenda Walton ones. Uh, I'll put this up here. It is so old. I honestly don't know if you can get it anymore. But I want to use this frame here. It says lots of beautiful things like laugh, love, dance, wish upon a star, dream, believe, hope, live, all that kind of thing. That will work as a frame. Something that grows. Now, I was going to be all corny and just have a love heart because love grows. But I'm not going to do that. I have this rose or these that are also in this ivory white. So these might work. Flowers grow. Um, something you can drink from. Well, I've actually got these like glasses here and they all say love in them. So I thought that might work as a nice pop of colour. Bonus is a dictionary page. So I have this vintage one and it actually says wedding on it. So and wedded. So. And that is what we're going for. I have a few other little bits and bobs like these uh, stickers, which I'm hoping to use because it says smile. It's got love. I might still use the word love. Um, I haven't really got anything to put on the background. But that's OK because I might have some white space on here. There might be a lot of white, though, but I might have some white space. So first of all, I'm going to cut out this image because it's got the glasses on there so yeah oh guys i tell you i am not traditional in any sense and i have very unusual um feelings about the concept of weddings and marriage i um yeah it's not for me it never has been it's never something i've wanted it's not something i necessarily believe in for like uh, things about history and all that kind of thing anyway I won't get into all that that's an opinion but I am so happy to be seeing my daughter so happy and this is what she wants and that's what you want for your children isn't it it's not about necessarily them doing what you've chosen to do with your life it's about them doing what makes them happy and so I am thoroughly enjoying as her mum I mean we've got all this pink in the background it might be quite nice because we've got the roses there too. As her mum, I am super happy to see her so happy and quite excited about like, well, obviously excited um, about getting married. And uh, yeah, so we went wedding dress shopping. Her best friend who lives in Australia was over 
and so that's why we've done it now even though the wedding's not for a couple of years one also to just start getting an idea of what she may like um and two her best friend will not be back from australia until just before the wedding so and her best friend's going to be her maid of honor and so it made sense to kind of go wedding dress shopping while her best friend was still here was here rather um yeah it made sense to go shopping so we went wedding dress shopping oh Again, I mean, you, I don't even own a piece of white clothing. <laughs> like, it's just not me. Um, and wedding dresses, like, they're pretty. I mean, they are beautiful. The, the amount of detail work that goes into wedding dresses is stunning. But again, I thought, oh, I'm going to be excited because she's excited. And, you know, it's my daughter and I want to see all that. But I cannot believe how emotional I actually got, guys. Uh, especially when she put on certain dresses and I was just like oh my gosh you look amazing you, you uh, yeah it, it I was really really surprised at just how right, let's take this hey Binks um it's my kitty cat uh yeah I'm trying to get this off this is so old this sticker so i just don't know if it wants to even work um yeah i just got so emotional um and yeah it was a beautiful day and it was lovely to be able to share it with like her best friend uh, this is just not coming off very well so let's oh that's starting to come off that way uh, let's try and take it apart a little bit um yeah for us to be there and do it uh, because obviously even though we can FaceTime and things we there will not be another opportunity for her best friend to kind of be there in the room when we're doing this process um, and as maid of honour you know it's we wanted her there for this first opportunity for this first experience um, yeah and then like i said why will you not work we then uh a few days later went to a wedding fair with me her dad her fr best friend had gone back to australia like was flying back so she couldn't come unfortunately but um we, me her dad her and her partner we all went to a wedding fair and we're just looking at everything um and it was actually held at the place that she is going to be getting married. So that was really nice because they had the room or the area she's getting married in all set up with like the tables and all that. So we could really get an idea. We already kind of knew. This is bothering me and it's all sticky. We already knew and everything. And she'd already spoken to some vendors. But... Um, yeah, it was just really nice. And this will be the time of year she's getting married. She's actually going to get married in October. So to actually see the venue in October, although this is an unseasonably warm October. So I don't think when she gets married, it's going to be this hot. Um, but it was nice to see because there's so much greenery and that at the venue. And it was just nice to see what it might look like. Um, to get a really good idea of that time of year so yeah it was really lovely anyway I had a very emotional time um, we've narrowed down things she likes and doesn't like uh, or things that suit her and don't suit her and there will be many more dress shopping but because this was the first one and it says about a portion of a photo in the prompts. I feel like the one I want is the one of the actual skirt. I feel like that's the one I want. So that's what I'm going to go off. Skirt, one of the dresses. Um, yeah, because... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, because it's the first one first time we're going um 
I thought this would be a lovely memory to have. In here, we've done a few other bits in here to do with her wedding as well this year. Uh, like when we went to the venue with her and she handed in her signed contract and all that kind of thing. So I've done a few bits in here to do with that. But it's just really nice, guys, to be able to keep... Well, to do memory keeping with collage. And you don't just have to do it for the Marguerite Miller. Um, memory keeping is so important anyway. But sometimes the idea of um, doing a whole page. And you're like, oh, I don't really have the time, but I have one photo. Sometimes it's just nice to do a simple kind of memory keeping thing like this. Ugh. I think that's going to go on there. Pretty. Uh, where is the drinks one? There it is. We have the drinks. Have that. We have the drinks bit. I think I want the drinks bit underneath, like so. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then we have the dictionary page. And I'm just ripping it across, I think. I think I'm going to rip it all the way across because, yeah, I think I'll do that. As long as I have the bit that says wedding. And that's the most important part. Um, oh, yes. What a day. What a lovely day. I mean, we had a lovely time with her friend over anyway from Australia. It was lovely kind of catching up with her. Do I want it up there? I think I do. So let's do across here. Yeah, it was lovely just seeing her. She came and stayed with us for a while here. Um, there we go. Right on wedding. Wed, wedding. There we go. And then that would go underneath, maybe over a little bit. No, I feel like I want it there. Maybe there. Maybe I should cut around this bottle. I really don't like this, like, white bit on here. So anyway, yes, quite, oh my gosh, I've just thrown dictionary at myself all over the place. Quite an interesting few days we have had. Do I want it over there? There? No, I feel like I want it there. Yeah, quite a few interesting days we have had. And um, yeah, it was just really nice and I want to do it. So get out your photos, guys, and do a bit of memory collage and just... You can just take one photo, one photo of a special event, and then maybe think of things linked to that photo. Like, if it's a birthday photo, maybe you'll do things linked like cake or balloons or presents or, I don't know, if it's something to do with the month. Um, yeah, maybe do something like that. Excuse me while I stretch. Or if it's a photo of a loved one that you want to remember, maybe have their favourite colours on there and their favourite um, songs. You might want to get like a music paper uh, with their favourite song on it and things like that. So it's almost like a collage, but it's got all the favourite things you want to remember on there. Um, I can't believe sometimes how well some of these prompts work with like some of my memory keeping um of that week like it's just strange like this to it for it to be this week and it's a portion of a photo and we've been out doing wedding dress shopping and things like it just and something to drink from and something um that grows and it just makes you think completely of weddings and love and all that kind of stuff so um yeah isn't it strange how it works like that sometimes? Ta -da! Okay, now I want this on. Maybe I'm going to put it at a slight angle. 
I think I am going to put it on a slight angle. Oh, I've stuck that down now and this was meant to go underneath it. And it's tape, so it's not going to work. Oh, silly, silly me. Um, hello, Binks again. Do you mind? She's like, no, Mum, I really don't mind, actually. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do it like that. Right, excuse me, Binksles. Excuse me. I really want that there. Because we have the heart there. But it's going to have to go here now, and that's okay. And I think I kind of want to rip it a little bit. It's a bit too square for me. I don't mind the bottom being that way, but I feel like I want this a bit more like that. Okay, yeah, that works better for me. So I hope you guys are well and doing good. As I said, it's unseasonably warm here, and I have to say, it's making me a little bit grumpy. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys, it's October in the UK, almost mid-October, and it's boiling hot with bright sunshine. Even the trees haven't fully lost their leaves yet because I think they're confused. <laughs> they're like, um, hello, Toffee. <laughs> We're just having all the kittens <laughs> over today. Excuse me. Right, now where was that little rose? Because we do have this little pink rose. Or I do have some of these flowers. I could kind of, because these grow, flowers grow, don't they? I do have the rose. That's really pretty. There too. Or do I like this? Oh, do you know what? I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. So let's do this one. Uh, these are some that I've cut out of my hand-dyed unicorn paper when I had that. And they were already kind of in my um, die-cut box. Um, and I've just pulled a few bits out of my die-cut boxes and things to try and remember to use them because I don't always and then they just get stuck there and they're not getting used. We do have a little dress here as well that I was going to use on here somewhere. Maybe up the top there. And uh, we've got the pearls that I wanted to put on. Um, hold on guys. Okay guys, sorry about that. So yes, so we're gonna have pearls. I have the larger ones. Where have they... Girls, have you knocked? I have a feeling the cats, as they've walked over, have knocked the larger pearls off. Leaving me just with these ones. Um, girls, what have you done with those? All right, and we have this. And I did want to put, like, love on here, maybe. So, let's put that on make sure we are doing everything photo yes border or frame yes something that grows a flower yes something you can drink from dictionary um, and love love can grow yes i know all this kind of thing can make me a bit queasy sometimes <laughs> i am not romantic guys <laughs> i am not um but yeah, I really like that. I feel like there's missing something here, but we could put some pearls there. And I also, funny enough, wanted to put on maybe the date. Okay, that's just so annoying that I can't find those other because I had different sized ones. And now I can't find them. So let's put the dress on. Um, that might have I want to put the date of when we actually went. Yep, so that's that. Still got the roses. Have got a little heart on here too. Let's have a look and see if there's anything else. Got a little silver heart. Um if I like this anywhere I feel 
like I like it down there. Okay, and let's put these. I have these numbers. It would have just been eight. No, wait a minute. It would have been the sixth that we went. So let me see if I like that or not. Yeah, well, not really, but it was kind of stuck on there. Uh, yeah, was it? Yes, it was. It was the sixth that we went. So let's put that on there. Right, and let's get these pearls. Like I said, I had bigger ones. And you watch, I'll find them now when, when I'm off. <laughs> I am having a day of it today guys I really am like these are so tiny I just want a couple like kind of just stuck randomly to just add a little bit of summer summer really needs to stop like okay they're just <laughs> they're flying everywhere oh my gosh stop flying I'm gonna have to find them all and pick them up in case the cats find them and then start chewing we're like no cats don't eat the little gems. Ugh. It's like sprinkles on a cupcake. This is what these are reminding me of. So I might do a couple up here as well. Maybe just three up there like so. Okay, where, ugh, where did that one go to? Maybe down here. Okay, well, I think um, I feel like we are done. I almost wonder, do I want this here to point at wedding? Like, we don't know that it's wedding. Or down there. Do you know what? I like it down there. Okay, guys. So I think that's what we're going to do. And let's make sure we've got everything. It is simple. But again, it is memory keeping. And yeah. So we have portion of a photo, something found underwater. I went with the idea of pearls, a border or a frame, something that grows. We've got a flower and love. I know, I know. But, you know, uh, something you can drink from glasses and bonus the dictionary page that says wedding um so yeah guys let me know what you think down below it's very white and you know kind of yeah it's very white and kind of i don't know um <laughs> not my usual kind of thing but that is the good thing about doing these. Sorry, I was just seeing if I liked other things. That's the good thing about doing these because you can just have fun. And uh, yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Don't forget to check out the links below my description box. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and you liked what you've seen. And I really do encourage you to go and do some photo collage memory keeping if you if you haven't already it's lots of fun and yeah and you could write on about it on the back or somewhere if you wanted to as well and wherever you are in the world i hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun thank you so much for watching and until next time guys bye for now